yeah, Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse, um, let me go get it, Second Corinthians chapter 10, and 3, 4, and 5. Second Corinthians chapter 10, 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Nor, I mean, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Let's go check out what carnal is. Fleshly, carnal. Got it. Yeah, I know that. I'm just, just bleeding. Uh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high. To the pulling down of strongholds. Which are the strong? What are the strongholds? What are one of the strongholds? Castles, stronghold, fortresses, fortress, fastness, anything of which one relies. Well, now now check this out. They have got this project Megiddo. This is this is a stronghold. This is a force. Ugi, Ugi. This is a force. <laughs> Potential terrorists, real funny. So they're going off based on a lie. A, a, a man of the Lord is not going to go out carnal. He's not going to go out period. He's going to actually take people out, but he's not going to do it because he waits for the Mosiah. Because pull out strongholds, cast Second uh, Corinthians ten and five, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Now, that's, that's some, uh, how you call it, that's some straight doo-doo. That's some straight doo-doo. Okay, that's straight nonsense. That we gonna be, um, uh, what they say, what they say? We gonna turn, um, the black Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelites, hot damn it, hot, 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 damn it. Hebrew Israelite movements have the potential to engage in violence at the turn of the century? Who do you think we are? Yahweh Ben Yahweh? The Yahweh Ben Yahweh crew? <laughs> Those were idiots, by the way. Putting hits out on brothers, decapitating brothers. I saw that on Forensic Files. See, I got that channel. Investigation Discovery. I got Crime and uh, Investigation Channel also. I, got, I, got, I think I got more, but anyway. This movement has been associated with extreme acts of violence in the recent past and current intelligence from the very, very, uh -huh. varieties of sources indicates that the extreme faction of the Hebrew Israelite groups are preparing for a race war to close the millennium. Nah, that's some stupid stuff. The race war will come because it says it right here. <laughs> In the book of Isaiah, chapter, Isaiah chapter 13, uh, 9, 9, 9, 16, I think. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if you join unto some white person or some Asian person, you're going to get killed. Their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravaged, where it goes up, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a 14, so like yeah, Isaiah chapter 13 and 14. And it shall be as the chase roe, as a deer. A roe is a deer. No, that's a gazelle. This is a, a roe buck. This is a roe. Yeah. You know how a roe hears you? When he hears you, when he hears you, he sprints off, right? He, he's known for jumping. He jumps about like maybe like three meters in the air. So you can't get him. If he or she, you cannot get him. Well, that's how the white people are going to be in those days. <laughs> They're going to be running. They're going to be running. And the sheep that no man take it up. Ain't nobody going to help you. Like a sheep that no man take it up. They shall every man turn into his, uh, turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Uh, they shall turn into their own people, right? And it says it also in the book of Matthew 24. Um, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, tw uh, Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation. That means race war. And kingdom against kingdom. That means war. Syria against uh, America. 
uh, Iraq against America. I mean, America against Iraq, America against Syria, America against Libya, America against um, uh, Egypt. And there shall be famine and pestilence. That's going to come. And earthquakes in diverse places. So that's finding to come also. Finding to come. Fi finding to come. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it, right? Um, First Corinthians. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was here. So yeah. Straight up nonsense. Violent Hebrew Israelite followers are generally, can generally be described as proponents of an extreme form of black supremacy because uh, it, it also says they are the black counterpart of us. Where, where does it say it? Let me see. Mm. Yeah, yeah, here is it. Oh, uh, I was finna get there. Violent Hebrew Israelite followers can generally be described as pro proponents of an extreme form of black supremacy. It's not just black supremacy, stupid. It's 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 uh, negros, Latinos, and Indianos power. Okay, negro, Latino, and Indiano supremacy, and their their children from the father's side. So it could be a couple of stupid ass. Know what I'm saying? Well, well, uh, how you call it? Well, they won't be stupid because if they really join the the, the Lord's house, they, they ain't stupid. They're gonna know that 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 they're gonna know that they're Hebrew slash. But anyway, you're gonna have uh Sicilians and, and some Irish, you're gonna have some some East Indians, you're gonna have some some so called Asian people, you know what I'm saying? So it's not a black supremacy thing. It's a it's a nation supremacy thing. We do think we're better than you. Well not all of us right now. But eventually in the end we will. You know what I'm saying? Because if I talk to a lot of Jakes in the beginning and they said they'd be like, nah, man, I ain't, I ain't better than them. But you have others that do say like, yo, yo, F them, man. I'm better than them. You know what I'm saying? We, we the greatest on the we the greatest on the planet Earth. So anyway, drawing up the teachings of earlier Hebrew Israelites at adherents, such groups hold that Hebrew Israelites, not blacks, all, all Jacob descendants, such group hold that Jacob descendants, Jacob descendants represent the Most Highest true Torah chosen people, while condemning cave people and incarnate as incarnation of evil, actually the devil, manifest of evil, incarnate manifestation of the devil, not evil, yeah evil too, but mostly the devil which is evil and does evil things as the most highest authentic nation not only the Jews because uh, an Issacharite is not a Jew he's not a Judite Manasseh is not a Judite I'm saying they are Hebrew Israelites but anyway Hebrew Israelite ad 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 what the f adherents adherents believe that wait a minute what does this word mean Um, so lucky I gotta check out the word, man. I really do not know what I'm reading. A support, oh, a supporter of a cause or individual. Why don't they just say supporter? Oh, that's real funny. They only use them. A Hebrew Israelite supporter believes that the mainstream Judites are actually uh, oh, the mainstream Jews, yes, 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 are actually imposters, which they are. Because I'm gonna type it in right now. And they know, probably. You're gonna see fake Jews. <laughs> no, those are not cause ours. Yep, look, see, Esau. <laughs> Esau knows exactly who cause ours are. They know, they know, they're not stupid. Because even if I do this, look, 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 even this fake dude pops up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, they even, they even spell it for you, cause our Jews. They even spell it for you. Look, all the fake Jews here, they know exactly who they are. Yep, yep, yep. They are, <laughs> they're being exposed a bit by their own people. All right. They're being exposed now. Um, what was, oh, yeah, yeah. It, just a quick, uh, just a quick, um, um, Funny, funny joke. Look, look, look. You see, see, it's a bush here, right? It goes down. 
look who I see here. <laughs> look who I see here. Why would you associate the word Caesar Boucher with this fake Jesus, with this white Jesus? Right? Which is the fake one. Look, look at him over here, look at him over here, look at him over here, look at him over here. And look at him over here. You got, got some more? Got some more? Anyway, just, just a quick, uh, the image of the beast. <laughs> wow, they're actually doing it. Look, look, look. They even show you. It's some douchebag named, <laughs> this is, um, typically a cave person, they use the word douchebag. I don't know brothers, brothers that use the word douche. I don't, first I thought douchebag means shower bag, because the word douche means shower in, in, in Dutch. I didn't even know what that means, but it means something to wash your vagina with, which they actually need stinking ass vaginas. Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm some douchebag named <laughs> Caesar Bullshit. See, even these gay people make make big jokes about that stuff. They actually like they actually make jokes. <laughs> Such beliefs bear a striking resemblance to the Christian identity theology. Pra uh, practiced by many white supremacists. In fact, Tom Metzger, renowned white supremacist, once remarked, they are black counterparts of us. Counterpar they are, they're the black counterpart of us. Yeah, 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 anyway. You can go read it for yourself. People that believe in apocalyptic cults, people that signify themselves with Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, cherished by the fake Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike force many serious challenges as the year 2000 approaches which is as already evidence by the deportation of various members of the religious cult known as the concerning Christians concerned Christians Z Zeloth Zeolatry Zeolatry from all three major monotheistic, mono theistic, monotheistic religions, which means one God, because mono is like stereo. Monotheistic religions, anyway, is particularly acute. I have never read this word in my life, but I think I know what it means because I see the word mono, so I don't have to look it up. I think acute in Israel, who holy shrines. Who were holy shrines, temples, churches, and mosques are located. Where? Where they're located. Where holy shrines, temples, and churches and mosques are located. While even surrounding the millennium in Jerusalem are much more problematic for the Israeli government than for the United States. The potential for violent acts in Jerusalem will cause a river reverberation reverberations around the world including the United States so yeah yeah whatever signification with Jerusalem the conclusion this is the conclusion okay now the extremists from various ideologies ideolic huh? idea ideology ideological I, I Ideological, I do, hey, whatever, man, you know what it is. Ideological, ideological perspectives attach significant to the arrival of the year 2000, and there are some signs of preparations for violence. The significance of the new millennium is based primarily upon either religious belief relating to the apocalypse, Armageddon, which means mountains of troops mountain of troops or political 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 beliefs relating to the new world or the conspiracy theory 